Hey everybody! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, depending on if you've been here before, but on this channel I test things so you don't have to. I'll spend my money and see if something's worth it so you don't have to waste your money, alright? I'm here to please the masses. I'm here for your benefit in life. Let me serve you. Now, I've been doing this for, oh, a billion years now, you know, not to show my age, but after a while I've tested so many things and you're like, wait, does that thing still work? Do you still use this? So, every once in a while on this channel I do products I still use and I go around my house and look around because sometimes things just get integrated and then I forget that they were a product ever and I'll tell you if I still have it if it still works and whatnot now I can't remember everything I've ever tried if I've donated it given to a friend or thrown it away but you'll see what still works if I like it blah blah, blah. and if there's something I remember that I had and I replaced I'll tell you if I've done that and why all right so are you ready for just a little tour of my house basically me pointing at things being like oh yeah so that's what you're about to get ready let's begin we're starting in the kitchen because this is where most of my good gadgets are. All right, now first up, this wood knife thing. I just did this, I want to say a month ago. Abby really likes it. It's not as strong a magnet as the metal one I had here, but it's it works, all right? You just stick a knife to it. It's great if you don't like having a block thing. I have both because sometimes we get new knives that don't go in the block, so we have to stick them on a wall. It's fun. Oh, another thing. Are these lights that are under the counter? Let's see if I can remember how to turn them on. I haven't taken them down, but I've also never used them ever again. What was the system called? Smart Life? Oh, I never use them, but they're there. It's a lot of work to remember to turn it on and I'm never trying to set the mood in the kitchen. This was from a 99 cent store haul and we still use it. It actually works. It keeps things cold and hot. This wasn't a video, but Evolve sent me a bunch of these shakes and I actually really like them. Not sponsored. This little soap dish thing, I actually really like. It looks gross, but it lets the sponge dry out more than if I were to leave it in the sink. So I actually really like this thing. It's cute, except when it's gross and it actually serves a purpose. And it just like is aesthetically pleasing. I also got this at a farmer's market once. I didn't test it for a video, but it's really cool. But this I tested for a video and I really like it. It absorbs the water. So it's thicker than a towel and you don't have to wash it every single time. I also bought this at a farmer's market and I really liked it. Now, I'm not the cook in my relationship. Abby is. So the kitchen is to her liking, except I get one drawer in the kitchen. Oh God. And this is where I get to keep all my kitchen gadgets. Uh, the potato cooker. I kept that. The meat shredder, I've kept it and I've used it again. A couple girls nights we ran out of cutting boards and I had to break out the plastic one. I actually really liked this. Our wooden one we bought at the farmer's market replaced that one, but that one was really good. We liked it a lot. Onion chopper, I've used it a few times, along with my onion goggles, always. If you watch any of my cooking videos, always with the onion goggles, they're the best. I've never used this again a day in my life. It's an ice cream pint maker. No, I should just get rid of that. What else in here? Oh, my favorite kitchen gadget ever besides my onion goggles. That's why, as you notice, the two, my two favorite things are in a different drawer because they're actually used, is my uh, rolling pin with different measurements to see how thick something should be. It's my favorite. I show it in every video. I got a sushi making kit. That was really cool. <gasps> my pasta things. This is for when I make pasta. It holds the noodles. I really like that. Oh, these little things you put on the back of appliances to wrap cords around. Very much come in handy. These tiny little frog Authors. I like these uh, when I add protein powder to my iced coffees. These actually work really well. Oh, I love these. They make non-squirt bottles into squirt bottles. Come on now. I bought multiple. Apple cutter, I've never had to use it, but I like it. I have a burger holder. I never use it. What is this? Oh, this holds tiny pints of ice cream. I never use it, but I think it's a really cool concept. I never use the tiny food processor. A lot of the kitchen stuff is like not worth getting out, you know? I'd rather do it the hard way for 30 more seconds than get something different out and clean it. That would take another three minutes. I've used this a couple times to get jars open. Very rarely can I not get a jar open though, okay? This worked, but again, it's chopped carrots or celery into smaller little slices. I've never had to use it, but it works. Did I test this? Yeah, it's an electric pot. It works. I just if I haven't needed to use it. That's my junk drawer. Oh, something I absolutely, this is a very different video than normal. So just the camera works, just gonna be different. The thing I absolutely love is where's the whole contraption of it? It gets moved around. Things get moved. Here's half of it. Here's the other half. Here it is. This egg cooker. I love 
these. I actually bought one for someone else, I can't remember, but I've had multiple and I've given some away because I love these. So when I have to hard boil eggs, this is what I use. It's so easy, so easy. These are always great if you're doing like a mass meal and you need to chop a bunch of onions, a bunch of carrots, a bunch of something, otherwise, Again, it's a lot of work. Um, I've used these a couple times. They're the egg peelers. They do work uh, depending on what eggs you get. If you get like cheap eggs, they work really well. If you get free range, grass fed, had a name egg thing, you know what I mean. The shells are like too, too different. So these are for like cheap eggs. They de-shell the eggs for you when they're hard boiled. I got these once. We love this. It organizes your uh, bags. I really like these. And along with the things for the foil and the saran wrap, we like these. We use them. This ice roller, we keep in our freezer. I don't use it regularly, but there have been quite a few times where our friends' faces get really hot, they get flushed, they're sunburned, they get a rash, they have a headache, whatever. And we've pulled that out and people have used it. We just rinse it afterwards and put it back in the freezer. It's actually come in handy quite a few times along with this little ice mask thing. Two things we just keep in the freezer. Doesn't doesn't take up a lot of room and it's come in handy quite a bit. Also, I always love, I think I showed it for a pro project. Project? Showed it for a video, hold on. These gold little eye patches that go under your eyes. Some days after a night of partying, our friends all crash on the couch when we wake up and we all do those. So we've got puffy faces, so that always helps. And then we feel good about ourselves. Like we're just like taking care of our bodies. It's fun. This air purifier, sorry. This wine cork thing with, I think it's, it's like pressurized air stuff. It was really scary to use, but we've used it a few times on corks we couldn't get out and it's worked amazingly. I'm searching around my house, trying to figure out things that I've purchased for videos. These were a brand deal from two and a half years ago that I ended up paying for and kept doing. They're called Chatsworth books. Yeah, this was a brand deal. This is not a brand deal currently, but this was a brand deal that I ended up using for several years. Once a month, you create a photo album of that month. So, and you can go back at like the end of the year and do it for each month and it sorts your photos and it goes into your phone and it will only show you photos from like September if you're making the September book. And so you can make a little album and you can add captions and stuff. It was really cool. I just stopped doing it because I didn't need to do it anymore, but I was doing that for a really long time. It was cute. I would do it every anniversary for Abby. Furbos are amazing. I have them all over my house. I've never done them for a video. I just really like that product. We're in my bedroom. This wireless charger I actually ended up falling in love with. It's not wireless though, because it still needs to plug into something. So there's that. But my phone sits on this, and my watch sits on that, and my headphones sit on this, and I absolutely love it. I've bought several of these. And then Abby uses a different one that I bought for a video. Come this way. Get in the... <laughs> Worst mosquito net ever. Look at the get holes in it. Mosquito could go right through that. <sighs> Abby uses this one. This is a travel one. It folds up really small. She loves traveling with this and then she's just used it for her every day. Again, it's your phone, your watch, and your headphones. So we love traveling with those. It's one cord, one thing for all three things and it just kind of makes it easy. So those we use every single night and we love. The bathroom. All right, I just did a bathroom aesthetics video. This rug, we switched. It was gray and we switched it to yellow and we really like this one. We got rid of the stone. If you watch that video, that stone smelled so bad for such a long time that we just, we got rid of it. And I actually threw it away. I was like, no one needs to smell this. I'm not giving it to anyone. I'm not donating it. It's rancid. <sighs> But with this eucalyptus, smells really good when the shower is nice and hot. We're still using these shampoo, conditioner, and body wash things. I don't think I ever did this for a video, but I use an African sponge net. It's like a TikTok thing that I really like. I think I used that, I bought that bench in a video a while ago. We love that. It's great to put your foot up when you shave and look, you can see where our, our foot goes when we shave. We put it up like this and shave. And so that spot is totally worn down on there. Oops, we also put the girls on there when we give them baths, they stand there. It's cute. I think I got this for a video. We absolutely love it. It works great for bath time. Abby likes that, it stayed. So did this, but Abby moved it over. And we really do like this because we used to have a huge like container of Q-tips that went in here. And now this has more room. So we liked this thing that was just done in a video. This was from the TikTok shop, I believe. It is a blow dryer that has a bunch of different attachments. I kept it. I really like it. I don't blow dry my hair off that often, but uh, it has a bunch of different stuff and Joy used it. She said she absolutely loved it. So this was a yes. Also, I didn't test these. Abby got me these for Christmas and I love them. So I'm just gonna do a little PSA. Deodorant wipes. Uh, I take these when I know I'm gonna go do something where I'm gonna smell. You know how sometimes your deodorant's just not gonna get you through the night or you're wearing a certain type of fabric that like holds smell or whatever. These deodorant wipes are 
so amazing. Again, not sponsored, wish I was. This, none of this stuff is sponsored. I'm just showing you what I genuinely like and products that have genuinely worked. They come in rose, mint, and cucumber, this pack anyway. And then there's these little tiny wipes, they're super thin, looks like a condom. You stick it on a wallet, whatever. And then when you start to stink, you wipe it, it gets rid of the smell and adds better smell. So you're like, fresh and ready to go. Absolutely love them. Obsessed, I'm almost out. I'm a sweaty person, all right? I put in a little effort so I don't smell. Welcome to my closet. This bag, I think was it Amazon or TikTok shop? It was TikTok shop bag. I actually ended up really liking this bag. And so I kept it, I've used it, it's good. I haven't had any flaws with it. And by the way, I will put the links to everything down below, but uh, if an Amazon link. Do I have? I think I have a TikTok affiliate link. I just don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> I should. What else has there been? I have to literally look around and find things. I built this. I built this on a vlog. We always use it. It's a little, uh, I also built this. It's a watch stand. All right. I tested a bunch of pants from TikTok shop. The Gymshark ones, I really, really liked and I've worn them so much. They shrunk though. We wear, they are about three inches shorter than when I first got them. And they're starting to wear down a little bit. There is a hole in one of the pockets, but they are very comfortable. And uh, when they were full size, they looked good on me and I really liked them. Where are they? Did we get rid of them? No, there they are. These cow slippers from the TikTok shop. Love, or was it Instagram? I don't remember. We love those, we still wear those. They just haven't been out. And Miso likes to steal them and run around with them. So they're soft and they're cute. All right, now I tested a cat door product that kept the door this big and it like wrapped around here. That sucked. So I upgraded to one like this. It just does this. The only downside is that sometimes if it gets closed like this, she's locked inside, she can't open it. So, cause like a dog pushes it like that, it'll close. So sometimes we just keep this stick there. <laughs> this, this, this was something, it's hinged, spring-loaded hinges, and it holds to your thing. We use this all the time. It's great because when you're sitting there, this is too far back, and sometimes we put the ottoman in the middle of the couch. So when you're sitting over there, there's nothing to put drinks on. This comes in handy. It's always there. We're always using it. In the laundry room now, these, let me see if I can get this out without Snoop freaking out. No, he already heard it. These dog poop bag holders. When you're on a walk and your dog poops, you tie it in a knot and you slide it through here so the knot's on one side and the poop's on the other. And then you don't have to hold the poop and you just hold a leash. Every time I walk Snoop, I use this. I really like them. They're cheap and it comes in like a pack of three and I've only had to use just one. So they're long lasting and durable and they make your walk just slightly more convenient. Now this is not something I've tested, but I got, and I'm just gonna do a little PSA here. If you have a small dog that you go on hikes with or whatever, coyote vest. It's expensive, but we feel a lot safer having our little dogs wear a coyote vest. Also deters other dogs. These hurt a lot. So I'm just gonna promote those. I've never used this. It's the dog umbrella thing. I should get rid of it. I have never used it. I will never use it. These clippers, these ones specifically, absolutely love them. They don't get caught. Sometimes the ones that are a different brand, they'll get caught closed and that's really annoying or they'll get caught open. So when you go to clip, it's art, it won't clip. And also this little door thing stays wherever you put it. It doesn't fling about. So this brand, I really like. They're sharp, they're strong, and they're easy to use. So these dog clippers are a yes. This suction cup tripod, I've used it a couple times. It stayed up on my mirror for like two, three hours and then it fell off. So it doesn't stick forever, but I have used it and it does work. My garage. All right, there's a bunch. I have tested camping stuff. <gasps> this is something we use every time we go on a trip and we're going to an Airbnb. We pack eggs using this thing and it works really well. We tried this for a camping video. You put your eggs in there and like, it's gotta go through some stuff to break. Way better than a cardboard egg carton. So we use this all the time for our trips. Not just when we're going camping, but when we go to like Airbnbs and stuff. I did my snowboarding, ski video, whatever. These didn't work very well. That fell. These did not work very well as snowshoe things, but I really did like these things you put on your shoe to turn your any shoe into a snowshoe. And I love the concept of the snow strip. My car just wasn't magnetic, but I thought this was a really cool design. I just wasn't able to use it. And then the backpack thing to hold your snowboard, I was against it because if you fell and your board is strapped to your back, you were going to either break your board or break yourself. So I wasn't a fan of that. But the straps to just carry over your shoulder, carry your snowboard over your shoulder, that was a yes. 
yes from me. I really liked that. I tried this for a beach video. I haven't ever used it again, but I liked it. It's a stool with that is also a cooler. I thought it was a fun concept. Oh, and my camping video. This was really cool. We used this a lot when we went camping. It's like a three in one pan pot kettle thing. Really, really like this. It worked really well. Uh, definitely recommend that one if you're if you're going camping because it, it folds up real small. Not if you're doing like six people camping. This is one to two people going camping. But you got your pot, your pan, and your water boiler all right there. And when we went, we went for a short amount of time and I really liked this fan light. It came in handy. It's out of battery already, but it's because it was accidentally left on. This we hung in our tent and it gave us a light and a fan, which we need. We need it. So we really like this, but it does take battery and ooh, big ones at that. I got to replace those. Oh, and then I forgot about this. My truck tent. We haven't used it again, but we really liked it because it got us up off the ground. And if you're going camping in a place where there isn't a place to like set down your campsite or it's raining or whatever, I really thought that was cool. The only problem is you can't drive around once your tent is set up. And it's a little not the easiest to set up. So the truck tent was definitely cool. I plan on keeping it and I can see me using it in the future, but not every single time. My camp it really depends on the situation. All right, but I think that's it. I know there was something that we used for a really long time. Oh, the pickle jar thing, this thing. We used this for a really long time, but then it started leaking and our friend bought us another one because we really liked it and it also leaked. So that might not be the best quality of product, but we really liked the concept. Also, any toys I test, I end up giving away. I have a bunch of nieces and nephews. Joy has a niece that loves this type of stuff. I do donate a lot to, I found this really cool. It's a thrift shop that all the proceeds go to uh, women's shelters. So toys, things that I don't use, but are cool, I donate or give away. And then things that are absolutely trash, I just throw away and I feel bad about it, but I don't need anyone else to have that in their life because it wasn't good. But yeah, that's it. If there's a product you're curious about, please comment down below. I'll respond to comments. If you wanna know if something worked or didn't, like long-term, or if I still use it, hit me up, put it down below. Again, I'm here to test things so you don't have to. So I've tested these things, they've been a part of my life, or I immediately got rid of them because they weren't good. I try to be honest with my testing, okay? <gasps> oh, there is something else. Oh, I hate that. That sucks. I'm gonna donate that. That's a stupid basketball, that phone one. Hi, boys. Oh, this broom. It's out of here because the cat peed on it. But it's a good broom. We use that all the time. In my shed. In my shed. Oh, yeah. I love these things. I use these all the time. What is your problem? Is there a cat over there? Relax, you live with a cat now, poser. Anyway, these, absolutely love them. I use them whenever I have to rake up a bunch of leaves. Okay, now that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not the most entertaining or hoopty floppy boopy doopy doopy doo, but I wanna stay true to the way the channel is and that's testing crap for you guys. So you're welcome. Again, if there's any other products you'd like me to test, websites, foods, recipes, anything at all, let me know down below. Also, if you have questions about products I have tested, hit me up. Oh, this. See, I just keep saying stuff. It's just this cord keeper together. It would work if I didn't constantly move my desk to do my podcast. So, meh. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday on this channel. Make sure you're checking out my vlog channel, my podcast channel, my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. All the links for everything are down below. Also, my Amazon affiliate link is down below if you wanna check out the things that I still use. Also, any other products I've ever tested are from Amazon or in my Amazon affiliate link. I get like 0.05% on things if you use my link, but you do not have to, I don't care. It's just there to make it easy to find everything else without having to put the individual link to every single item, cause it's a lot. Other than that, you beautiful, wonderful people, and I'll see you next time. Bye.